Hi, George Williams, CEO of Reliability X, and today we're going to talk about why we utilize condition monitoring techniques to help ensure we don't have catastrophic events. So why do we do that? Well, let's say your operations. If your operations and maintenance comes to you and says, hey, I can uh, foul today and take you out all day. Hopefully I have the part, and if I don't have the part, you'll be down a couple of days. Or I can kind of plan and schedule well in advance. Which one do you like better? They're gonna say, hey, give me some advanced notice. Well, we used condition monitoring techniques to do exactly that. Ha, ah, this is our PF interval or PF curve. It is the point in time from when a potential catastrophic event is gonna occur, meaning I put some dirt in my bearing, all the way until such time that the catastrophic event happens where I blow apart the bearing, drop my, my shaft on a pill block, score the pill block and destroy a bunch of equipment somewhere between the two of those points, I can take some intervention as maintenance. My job is to find that point as early in time as possible so I can plan and get the parts. I can coordinate with operations when it is most convenient to get the work done, and hopefully I can get the work done before I ever reach this uh, functional failure, this complete total catastrophic event. I use a variety of techniques like ultrasound. Ultrasound is gonna pick me up nice and early and I've got a nice long time window. I can use things like IR and vibration, so vibration and IR and motion amplification, all kinds of different things to find these events earlier than the catastrophic event. Then I can get down to things like, well, I can feel that it's hot, I can smell that it's burning and I have almost no window in time with which to react. So the choice is, do I want almost no window in, with to re in which to react? Or do I want a nice long window and have plenty of time to plan and schedule? My suggestion is we get an early recognition, plan, schedule, and eliminate the defect appropriately using condition monitoring techniques. If you'd like more information on condition monitoring techniques and predictive maintenance technologies, see our courses on predictive maintenance technology at reliabilityx.com.